This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash TYT for an awesome free trial membership. An amazing story from the Tech Herald. Uh, they have found uh, this very interesting story about a consortium of national security contractors who apparently have been hired by Hunton and Williams. That is a law firm that represents Bank of America, among other clients. Apparently, these three groups called Palantir Technologies, HB Gary Federal, and Verico Technologies have been commissioned to find a way to attack WikiLeaks. And they've put together reports on how to fight back against WikiLeaks for certain clients, possibly, obviously, Bank of America, and that uh, they have even put together a little flow chart of the people to attack. Okay? Now, uh, let's put up that flow chart. And as you can see, Julian Assange is on the right. His lawyer is past him. And then there are a number of people on the list. Jacob Applebaum, David House, James Ball, John Shifton, Jennifer A. Lee. That's interesting. But their main target, other than Assange, in fact, larger than Assange in this flow chart, is Glenn Greenwald. Glenn Greenwald has been writing about WikiLeaks for some time now, and uh, he, along with others, including Marcy Wheeler and Jane Hampshire at Fire Dog Lake, have been breaking stories about how Adrian Lamo, who turned in Bradley Manning, uh, his evidence is actually not very good at all. They uh, poured through the logs. They challenged Wired magazine uh, on what they published based on Lamo's account. They showed that Lamo's account did not add up that uh, Manning never says that he had some special privileges uh, at WikiLeaks because the government wants to build a case saying that it wasn't just Bradley Manning, that Julian Assange egged Manning on to give him the leaks and gave him special privileges at WikiLeaks to be able to entice him into leaking that document. And then they want to charge Assange along with Manning, and they've tried. they've looked at several different laws including the espionage act etc by the way uh that case is apparently according to other reports run into significant trouble they just cannot prove their case and so they, they have not brought any charges against assange and if it continues this way apparently they will not uh let's hope that's the case because he's a journalist and bringing charges against them would be absurd um so in but bank of america is not concerned about state secrets they're not concerned about uh, what Assange might have leaked about our diplomats. They're concerned about his claim that he's going to leak uh, against a major bank. And he has said in the past that he has information on Bank of America. So they would be interested in hiring people who could do counterattacks against WikiLeaks. Some of the proposals involves trying to shut down the site, trying to get the information. And why was Glenn Greenwald and the others on the list? Since Greenwald is doing great journalism showing that WikiLeaks is right, and that they are, should not be prosecuted, etc. They they say the most important thing is to knock out the journalists who are on Assange's side. And if you can do that, then Assange will be left alone and easier to target. And that that is incredibly chilling. And and it's amazing. Well, first of all, they're right to target Glenn in the sense that he is the one doing the best work. He is the best journalist on this. And he's the one pushing this forward. So it's interesting they took, chose the right target. Here's what it says underneath the chart. Glenn was critical in the Amazon to OVH transition. It is the level of support that needs to be disrupted. And then here's a funny conclusion that they are totally wrong about. They say, these are established professionals that have a liberal bent, but ultimately most of them, if pushed, will choose professional preservation over cause such is the mentality of most business professionals. Now, that is true of others, but if they think that's true of Glenn Greenwald, they are sadly mistaken. That's why he's pushing this. But perhaps they mean everybody else, because their last point here is, without the sport of people like Glenn, WikiLeaks would fold. Once again, I think that's an over-exaggeration. WikiLeaks would not fold without Glenn Greenwald. But it goes to show you how important they think it is for someone who is honest in the media that, that that is incredibly dangerous to them. They think if you could just knock off a couple of the honest actors who are acting as real journalists, 
you'll be able to scare away the other guys who aren't really that interested in journalism. They're interested in their paycheck, and then we can eliminate the guy who's actually bringing truth to people. That's Julian Assange on WikiLeaks. If if this is true, and originally it was uh, a tip from CrowdLeaks.org that uh, tipped Tech Herald onto this, you know, it, it's absolutely chilling as to how they're planning to fight back and the fact that their analysis is not that far off. And, of course, we hope uh, that they fail at that. And, again, I, I don't know if CrowdLeaks.org is right. I don't know if Tech Herald is right. This is what they're reporting. If, and... Man, they have. If it's true, they have a plan to go get journalists and to go get WikiLeaks, because corporate profits are on the line, and they can't have that. And if you remember, I said, "Oh, when WikiLeaks went after the government, oh yeah, yeah, government got mad, yada yada yada. They're fine. When they're going after the banks, that's real trouble, because the banks have a lot of money, and they're not interested in endangering it." Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges. Free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over you.